By the time now, 6-11, time to check your weather here with Thomas. I feel like we got a little bit of everything in the weather this morning. Yeah, that we do. We have rain, mm -hmm. we have wind, we mm -hmm. have snow, we have thunder. I mean, so we got it all. You got weather Yahtzee this morning. Yeah, that we do. So <laughs> might be a good morning mm -hmm. to play play some games inside because it's been a wet go of things. No kidding. This morning. So cold no front. No kidding. Yeah. Cold front moving through northern Utah, and we have seen some healthy totals since yesterday. And we'll take you to some of those precip totals. Timpanogos Cave, almost an inch and a half of wet weather. Meanwhile, Kolob in southern Utah, 1.1, over half an inch at Zion National Park, over three tenths of an inch in Harriman. So Utah County and southern Salt Lake County has, has especially seen a decent amount of wet weather, while Logan is over a quarter of an inch. So we have seen some healthy moisture since last night, and we're still seeing rain in Salt Lake City. Here's the current view at our station here at ABC4 News. The cold fronts moved through. We were at 51 earlier this morning and we've now dropped down to 43 and those roads are running wet. So we're mainly seeing valley rain and mountain snow, but that snow line is beginning to fall in northern Utah and Park City. We're seeing that snow falling currently and those roads are running slick. So this morning in northern Utah going to encourage you to build in plenty of time, but this isn't only just a northern Utah storm. We're also seeing wet weather down in southern Utah. I'm going to show this camera a lot this morning, but St. George, anytime you see rain, it's notable and we have seen steady rain in lower Washington County more or less since the overnight hours with healthy accumulations. We've even already seen around two tenths of an inch of rain in St. George itself. But right now we're sitting at 39 degrees in Logan, 33 in Park City, 43 in Salt Lake, 47 in Provo, and 53 degrees currently in St. George. So those temperatures, while they're still mild, they are beginning to trend cooler, especially in northern Utah behind the front. So some of our typically colder valleys, as that moisture holds on, we actually could start to see that train change over into a wintry mix or even maybe some times of snow. But again, mainly valley rain, mountain snow stretching from northern Utah County all the way through Cache Valley this morning with times of heavy snow up in our mountains in northern Utah while down in southern Utah steady rain falling throughout lower Washington County. We're seeing more wet weather spreading around Iron County, South Central Utah and Southeastern Utah has seen wet weather and we've also seen wet weather in Central Utah, especially around Helper as we've been seeing times of snow in the central portion of the state. It's just hard for the radar to see that far into Central Utah, but because we're expecting more wet weather in lower Washington County, and just in southwestern Utah in general, the flood watch for Zion National Park and the area around Zion, including Springdale, that continues through tomorrow afternoon. You probably want to avoid the slot canyons as heavy rain combined with rapid snow melt could lead to additional flash flooding. Something to keep in mind there. The winter storm warnings and the winter weather advisories for just about all of our mountain ranges continue through at least this evening, mainly in northern Utah and will continue through early tomorrow morning down in southern Utah, including for the LaSalle and Abajo Mountains. So 8 to 24 inches of possibility by the time is all is said and done for the Northern mountains, 8 to 24 possible for the southern mountains, 6 to 12 possible for the central mountains, mainly above 7,500 feet. And to go along with that, strong winds are also expected in the strong winds that we've had since yesterday along and west of I-15. Those will continue through at least the middle of the day as the wind advisories in those locations also continue. Now let's go ahead and begin the future cast. 7 o'clock this morning and as we go from the morning into the afternoon, really doesn't matter where you are across the state, there's going to be a good chance that wet weather finds you still mainly going to be valley rain and mountain snow as that snow line begins to drop in northern Utah. And depending on how quickly the colder air moves in, we could start to see some of our typically colder valleys and maybe the benches finding some snow. It just all depends on whether or not the moisture holds on long enough as that colder air will continue to move in throughout the day. But by the second half of the day, as that cold front moves into southern Utah, the best chance for wet weather will be in the southern portion of the state. Isolated shower activity can't be ruled out up north with winds mainly out of the northwest. Then into tonight, that best chance continues to be down in the southern portion of the state before we see clearing skies going into our Thursday afternoon and we'll see calm conditions to round out the work week and move into our St. Patrick's Day. As for our regional forecast, you need to take this with a grain of salt in northern Utah. We've already gotten the 51 degrees in Salt Lake, so that daytime high, we've already hit it. We're likely going to spend the rest of the day mainly in the 40s. We're going to spend most of the day in the 30s in Logan, but for those of you down in southern Utah, ahead of the cold front, you'll top out around 48 in Cedar City, 60 degrees in St. George, and along and ahead of the cold front, a few thunderstorms can't be ruled out as we've already seen, even along the Wasatch Front. In St. George, a pretty good chance for rain as we we continue from today into tonight, a slim chance early on our Thursday morning, but by tomorrow afternoon into our St. Patrick's Day, looking at mostly dry conditions, mostly dry into the weekend, but the chance for wet weather could ramp back up into early next week with daytime highs generally in the upper 50s and low 60s. Then along the Wasatch Front, mainly valley rain and mountain snow through today, a slim chance early on Thursday. Daytime highs come down significantly, low 40s for our Thursday, middle 40s for our St. Patrick's Day, but sunshine. And then as temperatures moderate into the end of the weekend into next week, we could bring back that chance for wet weather with possibly another healthy storm by the middle of next week.